welcome back to my channel um, and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to share this video with you. If you're new to my channel then welcome. My name's Jane. I've currently been doing um, some refurbishments. Um, I'll put a couple of links to the two videos prior to this. You should watch those first. So the first one is uh, cleaning out my current bathroom, my main bathroom and then the second one is decorating the bathroom and today is going to be the big reveal. So I'm so excited to share it with you. It came in at, at less than £150. So if you're looking to do something on a budget, I'll leave everything that I've used in the description bar below. If you feel like you want to do something like this, I completely recommend it. Um, it's completely transformed this space. So without further ado, I'm going to go into and show you uh, what it looked like before. So let's get into the video. And if you enjoy the video at any time, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be more content like this. I also do clothing and hauls and everything. So and if there's anything you want to see, leave me a message below. So enjoy the video. Can't wait. So here is the bathroom before. As you can see, it's like completely cluttered. It's brown. It looks completely dated. <laughs> and um yeah it's not looking good it's got a carpet on the floor um it's uh, completely cluttered so yeah and this is what i've done to it today so i'm just about to go into the bathroom i'll just give you a quick pan and then we'll go over all the individual bits looks great doesn't it so happy with it right so starting at the door then we're going to go in um, I'll come to the floor in a minute. We're going to go left here. And here we have two uh, lovely pictures. I got these from, I know you can buy a lot of stuff from Desenio, but these were actually from House of Coke. And I'll leave all the links in the description below. So I've got this one that's kind of like closed lashes with some lips. And the frames obviously came from eBay, which were quite cheap. There's only a few, about £3 each. These are a five size and they were a special offer on as well for these prints, which are really nice. They come on really nice quality paper as well. So I can really recommend them. And it's obviously got this pink tone. And then obviously there's the shower and I put the shower head on that I got from a and and Bargains, which was 6 99 Came with a, um, a cable as well, but I've not used that. I've uh, just got a little squidge in there, which isn't quite the right pink, but I don't really use this shower anyway. So that's that. Then coming over here, we have a new towel rail with a towel. This one was from, um, this one was from uh, B&M Bargains. They had this one, they had like a square one as well. You've probably seen it in the latest haul. I think this was 5 99 And then the towel as well was 3 99 for a hand towel. Then coming on to the top here, these were a lovely gift last Christmas from uh, my friend Sarah. And this is the same mirror as before, but I've painted it white. The walls are obviously grey, which you would have seen in my video. Then on the sink here, we have the soap dispenser, which again is from um, B&M and Bargains. And this was, I think, $2.99 or $3.99 um, in the sink there. And then we've got a cupboard underneath, which I had a lot of trouble with. <laughs> and I've even tidied it out. Uh, it's like nice and tidy. Nice and tidy. Everything sort of lined up as much as I can possibly keep it tidy. I did try and purge, but um, this was a little bit um, struggling because... The, I actually bought one before this in white that I was going to paint the doors on, but I, it wasn't big enough here. So you have to just be careful and make sure you measure, measure everything. And then we got this one, and then this one was just a little bit tight here. So it does stick out a little bit more than I would like. But at the moment, I'm keeping it as it is. If I get fed up with it, then I'm going to take it away. But it's staying for the time being. Now here is the toilet seat. I actually painted this with some paint. I can leave a link in the description. It was actually brown before, so I just sanded that down and painted it. And this was from, obviously I got toilet brush from B&M. This one was from uh, Amazon because I couldn't find one anywhere. It was about $12.99. You do put extra ones there, but we haven't got any in here at the minute. This was from Pound Stretcher, which I think was a pound. And this is obviously a display that I did some many, many moons ago, I think about a year ago, that used to be in my beauty room, but I thought would look really pretty here. The blinds, again, are grey, and they're from 
um, blinds to go. So yeah, I can leave. They were like £35 made to measure because we've got strange size windows, unfortunately. Then we've got the shelves that I got from B&M a little while ago. Sam put these up for me. There's that one from, I think that was a couple of pounds. This one you've seen in the hall. There's the jar from Poundland with the little crystals in. Um, some Ted Baker things. I'll come back to the pictures in a second. And then on the bath, we've got a little um, wax melt, which was actually 79p. And then the wax melts were um, from Wilkinson's. Um, which I think were £3.99 for like six. And that's my light up candle, which it's obviously lights up. Then we've got this as well, which I think was from, oh, there, £5 and b and I need to take that tag off. That's the one that I got in a haul as well. That was only a few pounds. And we've got a nice, pretty reed diffuser. A little bit of bubble bath there from Avon. And then we've got just a nice face cloth. And the mat again, which was from b and and the floor, which I absolutely love. And I did fit it myself. Very neat. I know I like to pride myself on uh, being super DIY and super handy with a lot of things. So yeah, I actually fitted it myself. Um, so <laughs> quite handy like that. And uh, this was £30. I'll, I'll leave the link below. It was actually from eBay. Uh, really good quality. I really love the uh, style and everything. I'm actually so tempted to do it in the other bathroom. On the back of the door, we've just got um, a little hanger that used to be there before. Uh, you can put your towel there, put your dressing gown there, whatever. And now coming on to the last thing here, these actual pictures I made myself. So if you're interested in learning how I did these or the DIY on these, I've got that, that video will be coming out on Wednesday this week. So watch out for that. So we've got a nice little picture of Audrey Hepburn there. Then another one from, and I've put the Chanel logo on and everything. Uh, but I got the picture off the internet and added the glitter and everything. I'll show you how to do that. And then this last one as well, I got a like little tiny little bit of glitter on the nails there. Can you see how that's coming out? It looks really cute. So yeah, I thought they look absolutely perfect there. Um, the frames as well, the frames as well are from eBay. Uh, these are the A4 size and obviously I got those ones as well. I think altogether the frames came to like £20. Altogether, I think I've spent less than £150. I mean, I did cock up a little bit on the uh, cupboard because I bought the wrong one, but I'm not including that because that was just my fault for not measuring it properly. Um, so, so yeah, absolutely loving this space. Cannot wait to do uh, the rest of the bathrooms. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna do something similar in the front bathroom and the guest bathroom because again, we can't afford to have the whole place re renovated. We are already gonna be uh, completely rehashing our ensuite bathroom because that bathroom uh, needs a complete overhaul. So that's gonna cost us quite a few thousand. So the other one is just gonna be a little bit paint job like I did on this one, if you can see from the tiles and everything. Uh, these are the same tiles as before. Um, they look absolutely lovely, look how shiny they are. Um, they actually look like nice tiles, um, but I just, um, I basically just painted them white because that was the cheapest thing to do. I mean, the paint was about £20 and it was a bit smelly, so you had to have the window open. I'd probably wear a, a mask next time as well. It did give me kind of a bit of a coffee chest for a little while, only for like a day or something. But um, yeah, confined spaces like this, let a lot of ventilation in because it is a bit stinky um, and it's difficult to clean the brushes as well. So it's one of those ones where you need turps and stuff. So I just got cheap brushes and just chucked them after. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like this type of video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a message below if you'd like to see some more videos like this. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll be posting on Instagram. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.